Hi, I'm Jim DiNardo from hotelstaff.com here. Today I'm going to start the day by doing something that some of our talented team do in a few of the world's top hotels and restaurants. I'm gonna make bread. To be clear, I'm no baker. Our people make it look easy. But our family loves bread and the house smells fantastic. There's nothing like the smell of fresh baked bread, wouldn't you agree? We've got all the ingredients here. Flour, yeast, egg, water, a little salt. Perhaps by now you're guessing, I didn't bring you here for a baking show. Please don't tune out just yet. I'm proving a point. I promise it'll be worth your time. And if not, you can roast me in the comments. Ready to go? Okay, let's remove the egg. Let's get rid of the salt. Will the results still taste like bread? Actually, let's get rid of the yeast too. Who needs bread that rises? How are we doing? Can we still call what I'm making bread? I can tell you it's bread. Tell you it's the same. We're not even tell you. Will it be good? Hey, don't hurt my feelings. How about another slice? Will you tell everyone after you left that it was yummy? Exactly. All bread is not created equal. That's why the line is out the door at my favorite bakery. Same for sushi, cars, clothes, and even hotels. I don't eat sushi from a gas station. No matter what Honda I glue a Mercedes emblem on, we aren't fooling anyone, and we can both close our eyes and accurately guess if we're in the lobby of a Four Seasons or a Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn is a fine place to stay, but there are clear differences. Different ingredients. When you can't see what's on the label, you're buying blind. Intangibles. And that's only the beginning. Once you eat the sushi, drive the Honda, well, you get the full picture. It's the same in the staffing market. We see it all the time. So you need labor for your hotel. Set a budget based on a guesstimate or historical expenditure for what we all hope for, a respectively strong margin. HR is tasked to find talent at the rate to make a fit or choose an outside labor provider with the most competitive pricing. The results? A few people show, looking like they were recruited at the bus stop the morning of. Weak retention, lackluster performance, and poor consistency. Attitude, no smiles for miles. Save several dollars per hour, but they turn 30% less rooms. Cleanliness scores go down. Buying internal or contract labor is an intangible, at least till it arrives and you get what you pay for. But hey, it looks great on Excel. Within budget, Corporate and ownership is happy, temporarily. Look at these reviews. Two stars, the place was dirty. Three stars, go elsewhere. Way too late to check in, my dinner was bland. Cold too. Update, executive chef just quit and took a few staff with him. The extra hours and repeat training was too much for him. Inconsistent help had him working late on the hotline again. Here comes another review, three stars. We were disappointed, we won't be coming back. Uh-oh, the HR director just took a position with another group. The stress was enormous. Did you know hospitality executive churn is currently near 30% annual? If you think it's because opportunities abound, you would be partially correct. Or you could quote this HR director on her exit interview. Something about sent into a gunfight with a handful of knives? Can you buy labor? like a commodity and not get less for less? Smarter organizations do consider how best selection of labor source has a huge positive effect on bottom line. Decreased liability, increased performance, enhanced customer experience, repeat clientele, reputation, revenue. Including these factors, a total cost model is more of a challenge to calculate and takes time to realize between the expense and the result. And for that reason, it's less often considered. Can you produce results without the proper ingredients? After the 2020 mass exodus of talent in hospitality, many haven't returned. Some hospitality management are forced to go along with buying labor like all things are equal and workers are a commodity. They go along to get along and when the results come, as do the pressure and stress, they move on to the next position and repeat. Of course you could believe indeed that the internet ads will produce. Yet another job fair will bring great people, where hopefully those top-notch J1s may arrive. Perhaps that staffing firm that fits our tight budget has the magic beans. All these are possible, but not likely. Hope is not a strategy. Truth is, this hurts us too. 
We can't stop you from buying the cheapest. It's not your call. We get it. We share a common enemy, false perception. Our reputation is important to us as well. Easily damaged, harder to repair. We don't want to be the next company you're unhappy with. Unfortunately, including the proper ingredients, exceptional hospitality people raises our costs and decreases the chance we'll be working together. But we aren't comparing apples to apples. We could hide a few ingredients, bring substandard people like many of our competitors, grow faster till word got out, but there would be a cost. We could lower the bar so we could work together, but we won't. We know you won't be happy. Hey, we can't work with everyone. What's the cost of caring? Buying price over value. The impact of less, less results. Culture in the hospitality industry is not where you're from or your nation of origin. It's understanding the welcoming spirit of hospitality that comes from wanting to serve others. It's about consistency, responsibility, flexibility, and honesty. Finding quality labor through more unconventional methods, through relationships. It's hard work, but it's what we do. Less for less is no bargain. Is anyone looking for a contract staffing company who delivers and has the track record and pedigree to prove it? Value-based pricing that enhances revenue, success, and brand of the client? People who show up and do the job with a smile? Please point your colleagues in our direction that want less stress and a staffing firm our clients call a sure thing. Perhaps it's better to hear it from them. You know, in the position that I was in, I didn't, I didn't have that many choices, to be honest. And I would rather have a sure thing with something that I know that I could work with and know that I could work within the structure of an organization rather than take a gamble on something. We're easy to remember, hotelstaff.com. Why are we different? Look in the comments for a quick video about the history of hotel staff from humble beginnings of a disabled veteran to America's leading staffing provider. Sincerely wishing you success in all your endeavors. From hotelstaff.com, I'm Jim DiNardo.